think he'll be there at some point? I, I, I think so. He just got here. You have to teach him to speak first? Or um, <laughs> he's, he's not too big on talking to me. I think he talked to Timmy last week. But other than that, I haven't seen him say much lately. Kawhi Leonard is known for a lot of amazing things, but I think what he's known for most is not being known. Nobody ever knows what he's thinking. He doesn't really talk that much. And in this video, I think I can fully explain the odd character by Mr. Leonard. Stay tuned, Jay. I wanna go for there's no stopping. I see them watching, I see them made and one day I swear I'm gonna be on the station. Mama, I gotta make it. So far, Kawhi Leonard has probably accomplished way more than he should have as a 15th pick out of San Diego State. Two-time NBA All-Star. Two-time Defensive Player of the Year. NBA Finals Champion and Most Valuable Player of the whole series. So far, he's on a path to a Hall of Fame career, but Kawhi Leonard isn't your average superstar. From the awkward interviews, the blank demeanor, he doesn't really give the refs any problems. Tim Duncan even said he doesn't get the calls because he's so quiet. But why is he like this? Everyone has a story and what's his? Well, it's a lot about Mr. Leonard that most people don't even know about. Kawhi Leonard actually played football for the majority of his childhood. His father, Mark Leonard, was more of a football guy and he really pushed Kawhi to focus more on football. And it wasn't until Kawhi's sophomore year in high school when he quit football completely and shift his entire focus on basketball. And his dad was a little disappointed at first, but I'm sure seeing Kawhi Leonard's promising basketball future made him understand a little bit better. And Kawhi Leonard and his father was very, very, very close. Kawhi Leonard used to work with his dad at a hand car wash that his father owned. They would work from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. scrubbing cars. And if you don't get the picture, that's pretty hard labor. And Kawhi Leonard said it was hard work, but I loved it. It was their personal time to bond as a father and a son. But it was there at a car wash that would change Kawhi Leonard's life forever. Kawhi Leonard's dad, Mark Leonard, was shot and killed on a Friday night in Compton at his car wash. The same place Kawhi Leonard shared so many memories with his father. Kawhi Leonard said, I didn't want to believe it. It didn't even feel real to me. He said, I'm not sure what happened. I really don't know anything other than some random came to the car wash and shot him. He also said, I think it's better for me not knowing who it is. And sadly, he got what he wished for. Because to this day, they still haven't discovered the murderer that killed his father. But the next day, Kawhi Leonard as a junior went out and played and scored 17 points in a loss. Then he broke down and cried in his mother's arms, releasing all of his emotions from learning 24 hours earlier that his father had been shot to death. He said after the game, basketball is my life and I wanted to go out there to take my mind off it. It was real sad my father was supposed to be at the game. After Kawhi Leonard's father died, his game did struggle a little bit, but he was able to bounce back with great coaches and teammates being there for him. And Kawhi Leonard's mother said, after the tragic event, Kawhi Leonard never really showed his emotions. She really wanted to be there for him. She said she would ask him, Kawhi, you okay? But he just kind of kept it in. She said she was kind of scared because when young men lose their father, who was a big figure in their life, it can turn them to the wrong direction and they can start doing bad things. But Kawhi was strong and he was just a good kid who wanted to get better at basketball. And six years later, after the tragic event, Kawhi Leonard won the NBA Finals and the Finals MVP. This is why that NBA Finals win was so special to his family. The Spurs closed out the Heat in Game 5 on June 15, 2014. 
which was Father's Day. And if you don't see the specialness of that event, imagine if your father or your mother was killed, somebody that you had a bond with that was very special to your life. And people come and go. So when you have a connection with somebody, especially your parent or your siblings, it's man, it's nothing like it. But imagine they was innocently killed. And six years later, you was able to win it on their birthday or their Mother's Day or Father's Day. That's something very special to someone. And after the Father's Day finals win, Kawhi Leonard, when asked about it, said, It's a very special meaning for me, knowing that he's gone and I was able to win a championship on Father's Day. And even though a reserved, quiet kind of guy like Kawhi Leonard might not express his emotions to a win like that, you know deep down inside winning that on Father's Day, someone he was special to, meant a lot to his life and you know just his basketball career and you gotta remember the year before that they lost the nba finals to the same team mainly because of a free throw that Kawhi leonard missed so being able to recover like that and bounce back on that exact same day showing that resilience and toughness that's a crazy story man and this is just a perfect example of not judging a book by its cover just because somebody is quiet and laid back you might look at them and think they're weird crazy whatever but you don't know what just happened in their life you don't know what they're currently going through or what they've been through so you know you just got to give everyone the benefit of the doubt and you know it is what it is but now i know when you guys watch Kawhi leonard play if you didn't already know this story you're going to look at him maybe with a little bit more respect or maybe more of an understanding of why he's so quiet and laid back i hope i was able to teach you guys something in this video but guys uh that just about wraps up the video uh, i know from personal experience when a father leaves the house especially when a father's murder my father wasn't murdered or anything like that but it definitely can take its toll on the children especially if they're in a bad neighborhood or if there's in bad influences around and stuff like that it definitely can take its toll on, on the children so i'm proud of Kawhi leonard and i'm happy he was able to get past that situation but if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys enjoyed this story if i taught you something maybe why Kawhi leonard is more laid back and quiet i hope you was able to enjoy it make sure you guys leave a like on this video make sure you guys leave a like on this video i hope you guys watched it through the end that means a lot to me if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys comment like and subscribe make sure you guys follow all of my social medias it's all in the description check out my other videos do all of that great stuff and until next time stay, stay. We used to roll at the rink, we used to roll at the rink I used to talk way too much, you used to know everything You couldn't stand me, I couldn't stand you You said I'm steady playing, but you steady playing too Your big brother footwork, your place is the juke